Hi guys, I'm Troy, uh, and welcome to another video. This is vlog number 23 of the Fox and Christmas vlog, uh, and it's in fact the last one I'm going to be recording, uh, because uh, tomorrow's and Christmas's has already been recorded, and I just need to upload them. <laughs> uh, so, uh, today I wanted to... Uh, talk to you about picking up the stitches from the coolest friggin sock I've ever seen in my life, which of course is the Stripe Tea Sock by General Hog Buffer. Uh, description, uh, link in the description for the pattern as well as their uh, Ravelry store. So that way you can see the collection of other sock patterns that they've got because they're so friggin cool. They're so friggin cool. I'm definitely going to be revisiting uh, a different one here when I talk about my Maker's Dozen next week. But enough about that. So uh, today, um, my original plan was to show you on the sock how to pick up the stitches for um, the last strip. But I don't know why I had it in my head a couple of days ago that not only would I be able to finish a uh, balaclava, which I haven't, uh, I would also be able to have enough time to knit an entire second sock. Um, <laughs> which is ridiculous. So this is as far as I got. Um, <laughs> so I just have a little ring here. Uh, I pretty much just cast on. Um, I cast on last night, ripped it back out because I got frustrated with it. Uh, and uh, then I cast back on again this morning and here we go. So um, I decided that I was going to go with the original idea here and show you how to pick up the stitches. Uh, and then I recorded that video and um, I'm trying a different setup today, which I have one camera just over my shoulder so that way you can see what I see as close as possible. Um, but uh, because of my hair, it kept going in front of the lens. So now uh, I have a video of me doing this with a bit of my hair just in front of the lens over and over and over again. So we're going to do this again. <laughs> so um, without further ado, let's get started. All right. Oops. So this is a representation of uh, what you're doing in the sock. So uh, what I've done here is uh, this is a representative, a representative of the first strip that you do, and this is representing the second to last strip that we do. And then these stitches here are the beginnings of your final strip. So uh, the first thing that we do with this is that as you're working your strips, you work across the top on the right side until you get to the end. And then what you do is you go and you pick up these stitches along the side. And you pick them up the same way that you pick up any of your stitches. But you go ahead and you pick them up like so. I'm sorry about the scratching, guys. I will figure out a... <laughs> way to do this without it scratching on the, the table eventually. Um, so you just pick up one stitch for every uh, selvage stitch. The pattern's written so that way you're slipping your first stitch. So you have these beautifully long uh, selvage stitches for you to pick up. Uh, and you're just gonna pick up each one. Um, so you're picking up one stitch for every two rows. So I've gone ahead and I picked up the eight stitches that I needed to pick up for this side. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to work across our cast on stitches, our cuff stitches. We're gonna work across these stitches. And then work right to the end. All right, and don't slip the stitch. So, here we are. So I've got my bottom stitches here. So now, um, as you, if you've picked up stitches before, you might know that um, if you were just to go and pick up all your stitches here, then your working yarn is gonna end up here. And that's not where we want it to be because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working across these stitches here, going back and forth, and we're going to be decreasing the final stitch on the side with one of the stitches here on the pickup to basically sew that all together. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So if our working yarn is up here, what we'll have to do is either break the yarn <laughs> and pick it up here, or we're gonna do this ingenious method that uh, General Hog Buffer came up with um, in the Stripe Tea Soft. Uh, I don't know if they learned from somewhere else, but it's ingenious, it blew my mind. So uh, what you do, instead of picking up every stitch, so we're gonna pick up every second stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and pick up this stitch here. Uh, that's not the right strand. This is the right strand. I'm going to go ahead and pick up and knit the first stitch. And then I would normally go into this one here, uh, but I'm going to skip this one and move on to the next one. And pick that up. Oop. Done. And then I normally pick this one up, but I'm going to skip it and pick up the next one. And you just do that all the way across. So that's the next one. Pick up this one. All right. And there we go. So we've got four stitches of the eight that I need to pick up. So um, normally I would skip this stitch, but I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up, one up anyway. And now I'm going to turn. All right. So now I'm on the wrong side. I've turned my work and I'm on the wrong side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slip that last stitch I picked up and the second last stitch that I picked up because they've been picked up already. And now I'm going to pick up and purl which is not something I've ever done before, this pattern. Um, so I did it wrong the first time. You can see on my sock here, you can see that I've got some stitches a little bit further along than I'm supposed to. I'll zoom in on that again. Um, so uh, on the correct side where I've picked up my stitches properly on my heel, you've got that lovely, nice straight line um, <laughs> right there, but uh, I, didn't do that. I picked up a knit where I was supposed to pick up and purl. So make sure that you're picking up and purl here. So to do your pick up and purl, what you're going to do is you're going to go, this is the, the purple needles, the needle I'm going to be working with. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down from the top down into the stitch and I'm going to purl it and pull it up. Okay. So now here's the ingenious part. You skip that stitch, you slip it rather, and then this other stitch here that I skipped before, I'm going to go down and I'm going to pick up and purl that one. Okay. Oh, I think I've split my stitch. So let me fix that real quick. There. And then I'm going to slip the next one, slip the one from the previous round or previous row, and I'm going to pick up and purl that stitch. And then I'm going to slip the first one that I picked, that I slipped. And there we go. Okay, and now I've picked up all of my stitches. So um, I'm just gonna rejig this so that's clear for you to see what is done and where we're ready to go. All right, so now we've picked up our stitches. So we've picked up the stitches on the side here. And we've picked up these stitches on the side by going up and skipping each, uh, skipping a stitch each time. So um, we've gone ahead and we picked up our stitches here. So uh, as you might remember, I started here. I picked up and knit eight stitches down this way. I knit across my uh, cuff stitches is what we're going to call these here. And then I uh, picked up every second stitch on the way up. And then on the way back, I slipped the stitches that I had picked up. And then I picked up and purled the next stitch. So then it was pick up and purl, slip, pick up and purl, slip pick up and purl slip. And now my working yarn is over here in this corner as opposed to up here. So that way I can just continue. So that way I can just continue working back and forth on these strands. So um, you may remember from me saying the other day <laughs> that this is not a beginner sock pattern. Make sure you know how to make a pair of socks. This is why. Um, because of how all of these stitches get picked up. Um, I ended up using a full set of DPNs just to hold stitches and two different um, uh, like short <laughs> uh, Chiaogu shorties to uh, pick up all of my stitches so that way I could work them. So you need to have a bit of a needle library in order for you to work these stitches um, and for you to continue <laughs> making the socks. Uh, so now what you would be doing in this case is um, I have it set up on this needle here. What you would be doing is I would be coming back on my wrong side. I would work all the way across these stitches until the very last stitch. And what I do is I purl this stitch, or I would purl this stitch here and this stitch together. And then I would turn my work, slip that new decreased stitch, and then I'd work across the row again until I get to this last stitch of the uh, the, the stitches here and then I would slip slip knit this stitch and this stitch together and that stitches as you go back and forth so you're always going to be uh, decreasing or knitting them together um, these stitches here on the edge with the um, every second row so you'd be just at the end of the row you decrease I didn't explain that well 
All right, so now the next thing that you'd be doing here is um, on the wrong side, I would go and I would purl across these stitches and I would purl this last stitch here with this first picked up stitch um, and I would purl them together. And that is what stitches everything together. So you purl that together, then you turn your work, you slip that stitch and then you work across in this case, stockinette stitch, so I'd be knitting across to the last stitch, and then I would knit two together, or in this case, a slip slip knit. I'd slip slip knit the last stitch and the first stitch of the pickup together, and keep doing that. So I'd go back, purl across, purl the last stitch, and the next stitch of the uh, pickup, and then turn my work, go over, knit, and then slip slip knit the last stitch and the next stitch. And you just keep doing that back and forth, and as you're working, you go ahead and you finish uh, sewing the stitches up. This is the last strip that I did, so I worked from the top down. So I would just continue to purl across, purl two together, knit across, slip, slip, knit, and I just kept going back and forth, back and forth, as I went along, uh, and that sewed everything up together. And it makes a little bit of a seam that you can pull apart, so when you're wearing the socks, like, they will pull apart very slightly like this, um, but, you know, Small, small, the <laughs> small thing for a really cool friggin' sock. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, I won't see you until next week, but there are two more videos coming um, there in the vlog, and uh, that version of Troy will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys.